and welcome back to my channel. My name is Zoe and in today's video I will be talking about all the books that I read in October. October was the best reading month so far. I read a ton of books. Um, I think 17 books. I read 17 books and so far it's 7,287 pages. I can easily describe why I read so much, but it's not time for that. So, yeah, I had a lot of fun. So because I read so much books, let's start talking about them because um, the video is turning out so long. The first book that I read in October was Brave from Jennifer Armstrong. Brave is the last book of the Wicked trilogy and I don't know about this woman, if I like her books or if I hate them. I mean, I love them, kinda, but I guess this is kind of a love-hate relationship I have with her. Uh, so I finished the series. The, finish, the, the, the series was overall okay. It was nothing special. It, it was very similar from her writing style for the last couple of books that she wrote, right? You know what I mean? So, I was so excited when I get into Brave because first of all I finished the series and I wanted to know how the story ends. And this end was really unsatisfying. unsatisfying. It was shit, okay? The ending was shit. Like, you have, from the first beginning of the book, of the first book, you have the story, you have the plot that, that, that she's going to tell you. And you are so hyped and so excited and you are like, oh my god, fucking god, I, I want to know how this end and it feels like the reading experience feels like a situation in your life. I can't talk about this because I need to turn on my um, video then up to 18. But it feels the same that you are hyped and hyped and hyped and hyped and hyped. And then you read the last two chapters and you're like, done. And then she asks you, and how was it for you? And you're like, What? I'm not finished! I'm not done with this book! So, this is now a spoiler. So the story ends with it, that you have this kind of boss, this kind of villain that they fight in, and it turns out that who the villain is, is not necessary to tell. But, how does she call it again? Ivy and Ren fight in this villain, and they win. But you're kind of confused with how they not celebrate it much and it turns out that they temporarily win. Like the, the villain is gone for the next 30, 40, 50 years. They don't know how long they're gone, but it's gone for now and that's okay. And this is the end of the book and there no, there's no other book. And the end was like, yeah, when, when she's back, the villain or he when the villain is back we are old then we can figure out how we fight her later that's the end that's the end of the book another series that I finished was um, the Red Queen series from Victoria Aviad it started with King's Cage I ended up giving this book 4.5 stars it was it was it was okay. It I love. Okay, first of all, I I really enjoyed the series. I have an awesome time. Um, it felt really great to read. This is really slow. This is not a um, um, fast-paced reading style that you can experience while reading the book. It's really slow. This the story really builds up. Really slow. Um, but that's that's something I really enjoyed in the last 
in the last couple of months while reading this series because I hate in YA fantasy at the moment that it all is really fast paced and everything happens so fast and you experience one situation when they fight in YA fantasy books and then you have one chapter to handle the situation and then they go right into the next fight and that's not in there. Happens sometimes too, but not that much like in other YA fantasies. I really like I really like um, Mare as a main character. Um, she is not this kind of perfect girl who has this um, awesome amount of luck. She also has luck, but not the kind of typical kind of luck like the main character in YA fantasy has. And this was really enjoyable. I can talk about this really much because it's the end of a series, so I can talk about it without spoiling you. And I don't want to because that's a series that I really enjoyed, not like the other one. Did I say? I'm so, oh, I'm so sorry. But I gave Brave two stars. If the, this was not clear. So, then after King's Cage, I started Was Down was the last book. I ended up also giving this book 4.5 stars. This was. This was Chef Kiss. I think the best ending of a series that I read. You have all the emotions. I felt so much. I was sad. I was angry. In a good way angry. Not in like other books that I'm talking a second about. Um, how angry I was there. But it, it was really great. I gave this 1.5 star. Minus from the rating. So this doesn't was a 5 star. Because of the ending, it was also unsatisfying. Not like in the brave, in the brave book, but I was kind of disappointed in the end. And so I bought immediately after that the spin-off. This one book spin-off um, was all about Mare, and I hope I get there the ending that I want. But the end, the disappointing ending was not necessary for the whole plot of the book. That was wrapped up good. So, yeah. I can really recommend you the Red Queen series um, when you are in a slow, slow-paced book reading mode. After that, I read Get a Life, Chloe Brown. This was a reread for me. I annotated, annotated the book and I stick to my five-star rating. I really enjoyed this. I think it's so funny that this book cover design is like this comic design. You think, oh, this is a good book, it's a cute book about love, and there's something smart in it. I really enjoy that. I mean, I really enjoy the series, and I am so excited to get into Take a Hint, Danny Brown. This one, I can really recommend this to you if you don't like, really like smutty scenes um, and this descriptive sex scenes. Don't read that. But if you enjoy that, you can read that. So the next books um, I'm going to enter right into were the Trilaton books. If you want to know more about the Trilaton um, on the Trilaton books that I read, you can watch my vlog. In the end, I talk about the books a little bit more, so I hope I can cut the short um, what I read. But I started. I started with White Smoke. I um, this is the word first Tiffany D Jackson book that I read. I love it. I gave this book five stars. I also tapped this and annotated this. And this whole haunting house story was awesome for me. This is a teen teen thriller. Um, so I'm not a teen anymore, but it was awesome for me. It was the right amount of it anxiety this book <laughs> gives me and I feel the emotions that how does she call it again I forgot always the names of the um, Marigold what she experienced I can relate to that and that's why it was great the ending was a little bit disappointing but the whole month was disappointing in the ending it's okay but I get over that because the rest of the book was so good and it was so fast read 
that the end was okay for me. Final Girls by Riley Sacher, also five star for me. This was my first thriller I read from Riley Sacher. I really liked, the, enjoyed the story. Um, I really like how he switched between um, chapters from the past and then from the situation right now. I didn't expect the ending. I had my guesses and f a few of them were right, but the woolly end was so unexpected for me and it wrapped up like good. I love it. And yeah. And I saw many comments that Riley Sager is not good writing a woman. Um, I think he was okay writing a woman. He was not the worst. And after that, I read the uh, next Riley Sager book. Um, was the last time I lied. I gave this book four stars. It was it was good. I also have a lot of emotions while reading it. I think the worst thing what pissed me off was that. This is a, a short little spoiler, skip to the next book if you don't want to hear it. But I really was disappointed in how they tried to blame Emma for what she did when she was 13 years old. Like, she was a 30 year old teenager who is fresh in puberty or in the beginning of puberty. And when you say some things to a 16 year old teenager, um, you can blame the 13 year old for saying um, stuff like that. Like, I say this. I said some things like that back then when I was 14 and I didn't mean it like that. And so all of the rational adults will know that you can't blame a 13 year old for their emotions because they don't know how to handle it. So that's what a little bit disappointing. But the ending also was shocking and I mean not the end, I mean the end of the end. And right. I want more. I want a sequel to that. I'm speechless. I'm speechless, okay? I started Kingdom of the Wicked by Kerry Maniscalco for the Trillathon. I bought this last, not last week, I bought this the week before the Trillathon started and I saw this and I, I just, I just heard good things about this. So I started it by reading the Trillathon. I was in a live stream when I started it, I think. Or was it after the live stream? I don't know. And I ended up giving this book two stars. I don't know why I didn't end up giving this book one star. Because, holy shit, I hate this book. I'm so sorry for everyone who lost that, but... The main character is fucking stupid. She is so stupid. I, I can't explain to that. I am 400% sure. If she writes a test, she failed every test that she writes. She's one of the person that needs to take the driver license 20 times. She knows that she's a witch since birth. That's nothing. Nothing. Knowledge that she's a witch, that she doesn't discover this. Like it, when the book starts, she knew this since she was born. Okay, maybe she don't know this back then because she was a baby and baby have no brain cells. Um, no brain cells with memories, but she's also a baby with no brain cells. She forgot her witching thing at home because her skirt has no pockets. And her sister was murdered. And she tries to figure out how her, who murdered her sister. And then she goes out and a demon warned her that it's that is dangerous outside and she shouldn't stay in she should stay inside because it's dangerous and she's like fuck you i'm going out to find the word of my sister without my magic thing this book was almost the reason i dropped every ya fantasy on my shelf and was 
just, just eat it out of my window. She's so stupid. And the end. Oh, I hate this. I bought the second one, so because I want to know what what is the ending meaning. I didn't get the ending. I think I read. I in my vlog you will see how I ended up ending this book and my reaction to it and then I uh, I think after that I read this ending two times again and I didn't get it I didn't get it can someone explain it to me in private chat on Instagram or something like that the ending I know in the discord channel someone asked for the ending because they didn't understand it and they get an explanation but I still after reading the explanation, I didn't get it. I didn't get it. No Exit by um, Taylor Adams. This was my last read of the uh, Trilaton. And I gave this book three stars. It was overall okay. I didn't enjoy this as much as I did with the Riley Sager books. So I read Vampire Academy, the first book um, from Richard Me. This was also a reread for me if you know if you watch my tbr um, videos you will know that i currently body read this with um from people from the citadel because i never finished the series that's not the whole reason for the body read they suggested this and i was like hey i'm i'm in <laughs> so yeah what i what i can i say i give this book three stars just and the three stars was just Pure nostalgia. If I read this for the first time, it will the same way like with with Kingdom of the Wicked. The one star is, the one star add to the two stars just for pure nostalgia because I know I read it so much in my teenager time. So first of all, there was from from sentences when Rose say some things. They were like, <clears throat> did you need to talk like that? Like this, the slut shaming, the body shaming, the minor other relationship. Yeah, that's everything I need to say. I finally finished Drums of Autumn by um, Diana Gabaldon. I ended up giving this book three stars because um, I needed so fucking long to read this book. Um, six months. I read this book six months and two days <laughs> before I finish it. And second of all, there's no plot in it. Like, there is no plot in this book. There were a few plots, but they were not that big to excuse a thousand one hundred book page long book. So Diana, Diana is really good in, in, in writing. I mean, I overall enjoyed the story. I enjoyed the this, this story writing. She writes this long and it's, it's still enjoyable, but because there's no plot in it, what is the whole point of this book? You still don't know why Claire was able to travel to a stone. This is the fourth book. So yeah, I need a break from it and that's everything I want to say. I finished The Way of Kings by Brandon Sanderson. I am I read this the most of the time um, in September and finished this in October. Technically before Trenton starts. And I really enjoyed the story, five stars. I I didn't cry, but I felt so much reading this. And there were definitely a plot in there, not like in the Diana Gavilton book. And for the whole story and that Brandon Sanderson was able to write a book with this much pages in it. And it was so interesting. And all the time something happened, but not that much that you're overwhelmed by the whole story. Five stars. I definitely can recommend this to you. If you're familiar... familiar if you read a lot of fantasy, you can definitely go into this book. If you are fresh into fantasy, I would say 
don't start this and expect that you enjoy your time and read this fast. So you can definitely read this when you're fresh new and you when you're fresh into fantasy, but it's heavy. I listened to the Empire of Gold audiobook. This is the last book of the um, Devolver trilogy from C.A. Shagabody. And I ended up giving this book 4.5 stars. There are a lot of 0.5 stars ratings there. I enjoyed the story. Overall, it was really... I cried, I laughed, I felt so much anger. This was a book, I cried, okay? But in the end, the ending was also a little bit disappointed for me. Um, it felt like you built this whole story up and then in the end it was like too fast. There was too fast of an ending, like the soul villain was destroyed easily and then the whole ending was not... I wished there were a lot of more pages, like one more chapter to wrap all the things up so you have a good ending for me would be perfect so but overall the whole story was really good i can definitely recommend the devil but trilogy to you if you want to read it i read a girl like her she from taylor Abbott. this is i don't know how the series is called but it was a cute story it's a forced was a four stars for me who said it to me was it Jolene? I think it was in one live stream that I had. Yeah, I think it was in one Twitter live stream where I bought this book um, because someone said this is a Chris Evans fan fiction. So, I mean, there's the next discussion. Should you write a book about a real person that it's based on her? But it was, it was not in this disgusting way like um, after passion or stuff like that, like the Harry Styles fan fiction. It this was in a good way. Still don't know if Chris Evans is that um, feels that good about it that this book exists. But he, the the guy in this um, in this book called Ivan, and he was a really handsome guy. He was he was the perfect man. He was the man written by a woman. And I really loved it. Yeah, so Ruth is one person of the autist, autistic spectrum, dis has this autistic spectrum disorder. It's not clarified which kind of hat, or if, if it was, I overread it. I'm so sorry. So I have no experience with that. I am I'm not in contact with someone who is autistic, or I don't, don't know if there, if I know people that are autistic. You know, especially in women, it's really hard to diagnose a woman. With um, if she has ADHD or or is, um, has autism, um, if you are familiar with this mental this mental disease and um, stuff like that, so it's really hard to tell. And I don't know if Talia Hebert did a good job and represent to represent this kind of disorder in a book. It's the same way. I don't know if in a get a life, Chloe Brown her disorder that um, Chloe has is a good res good representation of this disorder so I'm so sorry about that if you know more about it please write this down in the comments down below but I don't know this but I really like the story you have even and even was but like I said a good man <laughs> the perfect man written by a woman and he takes such a good care of food and this whole love story was really cute and I enjoyed this after reading these kind of enemies to lovers love stories that are trash I really enjoyed this one and I already bought the rest of the series because I can't handle my money so I am so excited to read them then I read Handsome Devil by Sarah I think she called Sarah Kate I don't know um, this book is not for everyone. This is um, a book in a series with 180 books. So you have this girl in the same age as me, her best friend marries and she tries to get there in time for the wedding so she can be the bridesmaid 
um, for the soul wedding in Vegas and the bride also calls her dad, her father, who lives in uh, Great Britain at the moment, I think in London, and starts to call him that he also needs part of it. So, and he tries to travel there, but, but because of um, a storm, the, 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 kind of the planes got delayed. And so the bridesmaid, the best friend of the daughter um, and the daddy, and the father of the bride needs to travel in one car together to Vegas and it's a 24 hour trip and they don't like each other for whatever reason I don't get it and they yeah they do stuff so it was it was intense it was okay after cutting off my feminist in me and the daddy issues it was really enjoyable, so I ended up giving this four stars. Do I recommend this book to everyone? Oh god, fuck no. <laughs> but I enjoy my time. So, uh, yeah. And then I read three of the Barbarian, um, Ice Planet Barbarians books. So I read the last two books of the Honeymoon series, Honeymoon 3 and 4. I don't know the actual name of it, but it was enjoyable, it was both the four stars for me, I see in a moment. <laughs> yeah, this, this whole four star, I, I just giving the four stars away like um, candies this month. So, and then in the end, I read Barbarian's Prize. This was, I think, the sixth book. I definitely give this book 3.5 stars. I think the most of the part why I give this book 3.5 stars and um, Barbarian's Prize is because the whole love romance story really showed up late in the book because Josie didn't like um, the, the alien because she thinks he hates her but he just doesn't hate her so it was this weird kind of enemies to lover story so yeah so overall I read a ton of books this month I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you don't hate me because I maybe hate your favorite book <laughs> and yeah then all my social media is linked down in the comments down below if you want to follow me there and if you want to follow my youtube channel so you don't miss a video i will be so excited and then i will see you in my next video and i hope i can get this video up on saturday um so for all the people who are not interested in the poppy war vlogs um can watch something for me Okay, I love you. Bye. <laughs>